Top 5 ways your cell phone can kill you. Bacteria. A London University study found that the average cell phone carries 18 times more bacteria than a toilet handle. These bacteria can cause anything from minor problems like colds and flus to more severe skin infections from Staphylococcus and Streptococcus bacteria. This includes the very dangerous MRSA infection. MRSA has been dubbed the superbug because it's resistant to most conventional antibiotic treatments. And yes, you can catch MRSA just from talking on your phone. Punctured batteries. When most people drop their cell phone, they worry about breaking their screen. However, the true hazard in any cell phone drop or impact is damaging the dangerous lithium ion battery inside. If a cell phone battery is punctured, it can cause a chemical reaction so intense that the resulting fire can actually burn through metal. Now imagine having a phone near your body when this happens. Talking while driving. Now at first this one seems obvious. Of course no one should talk on their cell phone while driving. However, most of us assume that it's completely safe to drive and talk as long as a hands-free device is used. After all, both hands are on the wheel and our attention is focused on the road. Well, unfortunately, it turns out that even talking using a hands-free device is still very dangerous. A study by the University of Sussex found that drivers talking on a cell phone using a hands-free device could be just as distracted and just as dangerous as if they were holding the phone up to their ear. Researchers found that when people talk on the phone, they tend to let their imaginations run wild, sometimes thinking about the topic being discussed, or even imagining the expression on the face of the person they're talking to. The university study concluded that there simply is no way to safely talk on a cell phone while driving, not even hands-free. Random Explosions and Fires Now, even if your cell phone is not dropped or damaged in any way, there is still a risk that the battery could just randomly explode or burst into flames. It all comes down to the fact that cell phones contain lithium ion batteries, and these batteries are just dangerous by nature. Lithium ion batteries can short circuit easily and contain dangerous and highly flammable chemicals. Despite what you might have heard, the phenomenon of cell phones exploding or bursting into flames doesn't just occur to cheap cell phones either. Cases have been documented involving some of the most expensive phones on the market. In fact, the Samsung Note 7 actually had to be recalled after a shocking number of spontaneous fires. Brain Tumors To put it simply, when you're using a cell phone to talk, you are holding a high-powered microwave transmitter against your head. Obviously, that doesn't sound like a great idea. But the connection between cell phones and brain tumors is a hotly debated issue. Cell phones produce non-ionizing radiation, which is radiation that does not affect cells on an atomic level. So critics argue that cell phone radiation therefore cannot possibly cause cancer. However, recent evidence shows otherwise. Recent scientific studies have found a clear connection between long-term cell phone use and an increase in dangerous glioma brain tumors. The Interphone study, one of the biggest cell phone studies of all time, found that people who had used cell phones for over 10 years were almost twice as likely to have glioma brain tumors. The study also found that tumors were more likely to occur on the side of the head most used for calling on cell phones. Now, the interesting thing about this is that the Interphone study was actually funded by the mobile phone industry in an attempt to prove that cell phones did not cause brain tumors, but instead it seemed to prove the opposite. In addition, numerous recent studies have shown even more conclusive proof that cell phone radiation increases the risk of cancerous tumors. The World Health Organization has declared cell phone radiation as a type 2b cancer risk. 